use of a spill response kit is an oft repeated question and so we've put this short video together to help you work through the steps correctly when responding to a hazardous spill. In the event of a spill emergency it's important to act fast but also to act in the correct process. So one of the first steps once you have your spill response kit is to put on the correct um, personal protective equipment. This might be as simple as a pair of gloves but it may go right through to higher levels of PPE. The next step is to stop the source, so very simple, it may be just to turn the tap off or rolling a drum over. Then you also need to identify the liquid, just so you're as clear as you need to be as to the hazard involved and to make sure that you're aware of what you're dealing with. The next step here is to protect stormwater drains because as soon as the spill goes down the stormwater drain you have lost control of it and so using the likes of absorbent socks or drain covers you can protect that stormwater at that point. You'll see here working backwards from that stormwater drain the user can use the likes of the absorbent pads if the surface is smooth as a very effective way to quickly mop up a hazardous liquid. In the event the surface isn't smooth or you're having to work in undulating surfaces such as cracks or rough concrete, you can use the likes of the mineral sponge or another loose absorbent which will effectively draw a hazardous liquid out of an undulating surface. The next step is to use the yellow hazardous waste bag to pick up the contaminated absorbents and these are safely stored in a bag that is clearly marked as holding hazardous liquids. That also extends to the mineral sponge or the loose absorbent which is swept out of the cracks in the surface and also put into that hazardous waste bag. Finally you would pick up the absorbent socks or the material around the drain itself and these are also stored in the special hazardous waste bag. The area is then swept clean, the bag is tied securely and as far as the disposal goes which is a question we often get we strongly encourage you to get in touch with your regional authority because the regulations for disposal does vary from region to region.